Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, February the 28th, 2023. It's the end of February. I have to remind myself of that because I'm still looking for a 29th and a 30th. Um, anyway, today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 32, Genesis 4, 1 through 16, and then Hebrews 4, 14 through 5, 10. I'm going to take a look at Genesis 4, 1 through 16 um, and just ask you to tell me what to do, right? It's something you hear a lot. Uh, usually it's said in frustration, uh, you know, like when we feel communication is kind of gone awry, kind of broken down, we're likely to say to the other person, look, just tell me what you want me to do. It's that simple. Just tell me what you want me to do. We, we're also that way with God, right? Uh, you know, I hear that a lot. Like, I wish God would just tell me what to do. You know, just, just tell me what to do, God. I just, you know, just make it easy for me. Um, but what if he did, like, what, what if God really did just like show up and just tell you exactly what to do? Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure any of us are ready for God to actually speak to us and tell us exactly what to do. And here's the deal. He doesn't seem to work that way. He doesn't seem to do that. Um, as with Cain, he tends to tell us what we could do. Like, you can do this, or you could do this, or you could do this. Um, and then he tells us what the costs are, right? And he's like, you could do this, but this is going to happen. If you do this, this would happen. You know, like, if you, if you'll do the right thing, like, this is what I think you should do. These good things will happen. But if you do this, this is going to happen. So he tells us what we could do. He tells us what the costs are. And then this is the probably the part that makes us uncomfortable. He leaves us to make the choice. It's up to you. Uh, and that's, that's what we see here in Genesis 4, uh, verse 7. He says, if you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, sin is lurking at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must master it. That's not to say that God doesn't have a definite good in mind for us. It's not to say that he doesn't have a definite good in mind for you, one that he, you know, really has in store for you and really would like to see you go after. It just means that he wants us to decide to do it. He wants you to decide that you also want to participate in that good thing that he has planned for you. That's pretty stressful. But the good news is, the rest of the story here in Genesis, is that he's still there even when we don't choose that good. Anyway, that's the DBR for today. Get out, enjoy the day. We'll talk to you later. Boop.